Hello everyone, welcome back. This is your friend SG and in this video we are going to continue our news app. Okay, so if you haven't watched the previous part of this video, go watch it first and then resume from here. So till now we have set it up a basic home screen and we have also set up our env file where we were fetching the api key and we were using this api key in the config folder and exporting it from here okay so in this video we are going to create the categories and the uh, first trending news section of this app okay let's just begin so firstly we are going to change the name from home to trending okay so yes now let's just create a component a component folder inside the src Oh. here we are going to create a first file categories we are where we'll be creating all the categories and exported them so so now let's create a categories variable which will be an array and it will be containing all the categories okay. so we have created this category screen now what we have to do we will be mapping this inside here so in order to do that we will use a scroll view component and inside this we are going to map this ok so let's just map these categories here we are going to receive a category and the index of that particular category okay. so now what we are going to return we are going to return a view and inside that view we will be getting a text so let's just import view it's not being imported yes now inside this text we will just simply display the category and in the view we are going to give the key as index let's just save it and okay so it's nothing is displayed here because we haven't called this categories component so let's go here and call this saved it and saw nothing why let's okay so now okay we saw all the categories there okay yeah these are the categories but these all categories are being displayed vertically we want them to be displayed as horizontally so we'll use a horizontal component as true inside this scroll view horizontal true so now what will it will do it will uh, make all the list uh, complete list as horizontal this is it so let's just do a little bit of styling of it so in the text we will keep the styling part let's just give a padding of 10 and border so get that now let's just increase the font size okay we'll give a margin and a border radius as well okay so we get the categories okay and we got this scrolling list but what is happening we are getting a scroll bar below it okay it is because of the horizontal view if we want to if we don't want that uh, scroll bar then it has a property show horizontal and vertical scroll okay scroll indicator we'll just make the horizontal one as false and then we don't get an scroll uh, the scrolling bar see we are not getting any scroll bar here okay these are all the categories now this part is done for now uh, next what we are going to display we are going to display the trending news for that let's just create a component trending news.js news okay and uh, let's import react okay. here what we want to do we'll create a state variable that is going to store all the news okay we'll name it news and it will be an mtl here inside the componented mount function we are going to make the api call using the fetch okay in order to make the api call we'll go to this news api.org and get started okay here we'll be using this second route what it uh, this one okay we'll copy it and we'll just use it here so we are going to use tilt and this okay so 
we have to change the country from us to india and here we are going to use our api key in order to get the api key we'll import the config file okay config from this uh, we have import exported the api key from there so we'll just import it okay so here we are going to use fetch so we'll just return the json response that we get first then inside the second then we'll be getting the response that we want and in order to catch any errors we are going to use catch block if we got an error we are just going to display it here okay and here if the response is good then we are going to display the response yes okay so let's just format it yeah now here we are giving getting an error why because we haven't returned anything for now we'll just simply return an empty view from here yes okay so this is the api call that we made and in order for it to work we are going to call this inside this home screen sending news okay so if it works we'll go be seeing the response here see we got the response this is the response uh, this part this is the entire response okay so now if you carefully see this either you can see it here as well it will give a okay see this is the response status okay total results as 38 and an article array. this article array contains different objects and each object is a separate news in it has a separate news in it so we are going to work with this articles object okay what we are going to do here in the trending news part we created this state variable news okay so what we'll do we'll once the once we fetch the news we are going to set state okay we are update the news news variable response dot articles okay and in order to just check it we are going to display the length this dot state dot news dot length okay it will display the length so it displayed 20 okay because initially it's only fetching 20 news okay yeah so we have completely fetched the news now we want to display it so in order for it to work we need to display them in a horizontal way okay so for that we are going to create a scroll view here which will be again horizontal true and the show horizontal indicator will be false okay now inside this we are going to map okay what okay. so before that let's just cut this and let us create a view inside this view we are going to map this dot state dot news why we have to check its length okay if it's zero then because initially we are fetching it in component date mount so once this component this complete component is called then the length of this news variable is zero so it might throw us an error so for in order to in order for it to work properly and don't show any error we are going to show an activity indicator here and if everything is fine then we'll simply display our scroll view okay yes so the color of this activity indicator will be black and the size will be large okay so for, let's just format it yeah see initially we see the loader and once it's done we see this home screen nothing is done because we haven't done anything here okay so let's now just map it so this dot state dot news dot map it here we are going to get the news and the index okay so okay what's the error yeah. so here what we have to do we are going to return a view this view will be containing firstly it uh, let's just give it the key it will contain an image okay i get i have yes we haven't imported this so let's just import the image yes now to this image we have to give the source the source will be having a uri and this uri will be a string this is tilt and so it will be news dot now in the news component the individual news we are getting this url to image okay so we have to pass this this is the url to our image url to image okay and in order for it to be visible to us we are going to set the height and width 
hundred by hundred. Okay. This is the uh, let's keep it two hundred by two hundred also. Okay. Yeah. So reloading it and once it's reloaded, we got to see the images. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's continue. Let's just give it a border uh, border radius of. and into this view we are going to give a margin so that it looks a little bit good margin of 10 okay see now we got these news displayed so let's just display the title below them we are going to create a text and in the text we are going to display news dot title let's just see have we yeah we forgot to import this text okay so let's just save this file and reload it we are getting the titles, but they are not aligned properly. What we are getting? We are getting this extra space. Why? Because this title is elongated. The title, this text tag occupies the entire space of the text. Okay. So we are getting this blank space. So for this to work, we are give, we'll give it a width of 200. Okay. As of that of the image. So that it will oh, see it's working properly now. And what we can do, we can uh align it justify in a justified way text align justify it will look good in that in that case okay yeah see now it's looking perfectly fine we got the news we displayed them and we are displaying the categories as well okay so yes this is it for this video in the next video we are going to make all these components clickable and then we are also going to make separate screens for each of the news and display them okay Till then stay tuned to the channel if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comments or you can join my telegram channel and ask the doubts there okay thank you tata bye bye